hey guys welcome to data tutorials and in today's video we will see the overview of this beautiful excel dashboard so our today's topic is road accident dashboard or road accident analysis and this beautiful dashboard is completely designed and developed in excel software and it is completely interactive which is operated by using this filter panel which you can see at the bottom so before seeing all the elements i will show you how it is interactive and how it is dynamically changing with respect to this filter panel or the slicers which are applied here so whenever i am clicking on this particular uh, slicer or filter that is rural or urban area so when i click on rural you can see the change uh, we can see the dashboard is changing with respect to that and we are getting the values with respect to that which gives us the granularity or uh, the interactive way to choose between these particular regions then we have one more filter over here it is a timeline for an accident date and if you see for different years let's say we, we want to analyze it for 2021 so when i click the values with respect to 2021 will be shown onto this dashboard similarly for 2022 and when i go for if you want to analyze it with respect to quarters so let's say uh, i want to see it for q1 2021 uh, then we can see it for q2 2022 or we can select some multiple uh, quarters as well right and we can select two we can select all or any way as per the user wants right so in this way uh, this we can we can you know uh, see the insights from this particular dashboard right and coming back to the elements which are there on this particular dashboard i will explain what are those so at the, at the top you can see this is the road accident dashboard is the title for the dashboard then we have here the total casualties uh, which is the overall number which which represents that uh, after or when the accident is happened so how many casualties were there and this is the casualties for all the years that is for 2021 and 2022 so it is a overall or a, a big picture of how many casualties have been taken place then we are subdividing our casualties with respect to different uh, types or the severity of that casualties the first one is the fatal casualties and uh, it is like we can see here it is 1.7 percent of this particular total number that is 417883 right and we we have a donut chart which represent how many percentage uh, out of total it is uh, like how many of the, uh, those are fatal right then we have a serial ca uh, serious casualties which are 14.2 percent of the total casualties then we have slight casualties which are 84.1 percent of this particular total casualties and there is one more requirement which we had like uh, how many or what are the highest casualties with respect to a vehicle type so we can see the casualties by car those are like 79.8 percent of uh, casualties are taken place when an accident is uh, happened with respect to or with the vehicle type of a car right so car has uh, contributed to maximum casualties right so these are the primary kpis which are shown here and then we have a secondary kpis which are arranged here vertically which shows the casualties by vehicle type and here are some symbols which are or icons which are placed which are self-explanatory which gives us that yeah this is the car and these are the casualties which are taken place with respect to car accident then these are the casualties which are taken place due to an van accident or a good carrier uh, vehicle accident then this is a bus or a minibus we can say and then we have a bicycle or pedal cycle or we can say a motorbike uh, these are all consolidated consolidated for this particular vehicle type then we have agriculture vehicle type or a tractor vehicle type and there are there is some data which has been not assigned any uh, like vehicle type for that particular particular accident or casualties so we have uh, you know put this into a other or unknown bucket here right so this is something which gives a uh, uh, overall idea like uh, with respect to a vehicle type then we have here is the current year casualties versus the previous year casualties monthly trend and it is with respect to current year and last year how the accidents are uh, you know taking place with respect to every month whether they are increasing or they whether they are decreasing uh, decreasing with respect to the last year right then we have the casualties by road type uh, like we can see the single carriage has the uh, maximum uh, casualties with respect to road type then we have it by road surface uh, on dry surface or wet surface and uh, snowy or foggy surface how many per, how many accidents are taken place right then we have here a donut charts which gives an idea about the casualties by location that is by urban and rural so we can see uh, urban urban areas are causing 
like 61 percent of uh, they are contributing to the total casualties then uh, the accident taken place by day uh, or they are taken in daylight or they are taken it at uh, taken place at night and what are the casualties with respect to those accidents in day and at night so we can see uh, daylight have 73 percent of casualty share which is a very high and at last this is the filter panel which uh, there are two filters one is the timeline and one is the slicer which we have uh, taken it from particular dimension and at left hand side there is a vertical panel which gives us or which help us to navigate between the different uh, sheets available on this particular uh, worksheet that is we can go like when i click on this particular this is the dashboard when i click here you can see uh, this is the overall or aggregated data which we have used to prepare this particular dashboard and if i want to go back to my dashboard i can click on this particular first icon which will take back me to my particular dashboard so this is completely interactive and uh, dynamic to be uh, uh, which you can see here and this is nothing but if you want to send an email to someone uh, like or a user or your client or your manager uh, you can directly click here and you can send an email from here as well we have one more icon over here which will direct you to the wikipedia page of the road accident analysis of uh, great britain right so the data which we have taken it is for great britain and it is completely dummy data it is not a real time data it is not taken from any of the uh, company or government website it is just for practice so the structure is same just we have added uh, or manipulated the data which we wanted uh, with respect to this particular dashboard right and so when i click over here so you can see it takes me to this particular page of wikipedia which is a road accident in great britain and it will give you uh, the summary of different years with respect to different injuries happened Right. so this is also a good uh, analysis uh, for you as well and for your client as well so coming back to my dashboard so if you guys are interested to uh, or you if you guys are interested if you want me to make the complete video of this particular dashboard from start to end how to clean the data how to summarize the data how to use the pivot tables how to use advanced pivot table op options how to uh, get how to prepare this beautiful dashboard background and how to create a different charts with respect to this particular dashboard how to format those then how to use calculated fields calculated items so this will help you or help you guys if you are an intermediate or a learner uh, in excel as well and if you are at advanced level this will also help you to explore some more option if which you haven't yet so if you guys are interested you can go ahead and uh, like this video subscribe my channel and uh, turn on the notification bell so as soon as i upload the full video you will get a notification and you can practice this into your system so till then goodbye